Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 11. In this training module, we're going to take a look at setting up and configuring our outputs using our Sniper system. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up and programming our outputs from our Holly Sniper EFI system to control various different types of circuits. You might want to turn a cooling fan on at a certain coolant temperature and turn it off. You might want to control a secondary fuel pump to be giving additional fuel flow rate as we get into higher load, higher boost levels, or you might even want to use an output to control an air conditioning system, specifically turning your presser on or off in the AC system. Let's take a look at how to configure our outputs. Also, we're going to learn how we can integrate our output from the sniper to a relay to control the device we're trying to work with, because we'll find that our outputs can't sync more than two continuous amps through the actual output from the sniper so anytime we're controlling something that's going to have an appreciable load draw or amp draw, such as a cooling fan, we have to use a relay. So we're going to talk about the basics of that here in this tutorial as well. Let's jump in here and take a look within our software where we can find our output list in terms of what we can program and can control with our Holly system. So I'm opening up my stock cam.sniper example here. I'm going to go into the system preferences or the system ICF, and we're going to move down here under our basic IO, basic inputs, outputs. Now in here we can find we have electric fans, air conditioning, and secondary fuel pump. This makes up the basic outputs that we can control using any sniper system. Now if we have a super sniper system, we have the ability to have additional outputs to control things like nitrous or even boost control. So depending on which specific sniper system, you may have more outputs available than another sniper system. So the base sniper will allow you to control all of what we see right here. Let's talk about how to configure and set this up and looking at our electric fans here as our first example. Let's assume that we only have one electric cooling fan fitted into our cooling system. So we'll go ahead and toggle off our fan number two. Now what we have to do here is take a look at the output. In our output drop down menu here, we can have unassigned, meaning that we're not actually having an output to do anything for that particular task. Essentially the task would be then um, disabled, and in this case it's better off that you just toggle that box off to disabling it. We also have our output 1, 3, 4, and 5 available for this particular sniper system that we're working with. If we jump here to EFI parameters and we take a look, my particular sniper system is a super sniper. That means that I have more available outputs than a base sniper system. So when we're looking in our basic IO here in our drop down menu, I'm going to have my options, uh, in this case, four and five available. Four, five, and six are typically gonna be options um, that we have our additional outputs. So what we'll find here is that if you have a base sniper, you'll have three outputs. If you have a super sniper system or another sniper system that's um, going to be a higher tiered box, that will be allowing you to have additional outputs. So looking here, we'll have to assign what we have available within our output selection here. So let's assume we're using our output number one to turn on our cooling fan. Now let's talk about the wiring side of things because anytime you're using your sniper to control another circuit, such as a cooling fan here, we're going to find that we can't wire the output here, the wire, to simply ground, so this is going to be a low side output or a ground output, to be able to ground the circuit. So what we can't do here is run a power feed into the cooling fan and then the other wire grounding it through the output. If we do that, we're going to be damaging our sniper system. The sniper cannot sync or handle more than two amp continuous load on the circuit. So in the case of a cooling fan, well, we could pull 10, 20 amps when the cooling fan is running. That will easily damage our sniper. So what we have to do is put a relay between our sniper and the device we're trying to control. In this case, electric fan. Let's talk about our relay configuration. It's actually quite simple to wire up a relay to control whatever circuit we're trying to work with. Now if we're taking a look at our schematic coming up on screen, we're going to find that a relay, if we flip it on the bottom and look underneath the relay, it's going to have numbered terminals on that relay. And we'll find that there's going to be terminals 30, 87, 86, and 85. Now each of these number terminals will be specific of how we're running the wiring in or out of the relay assembly. 
Let's break this down here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.